Hello guys, Flying Duty here. Welcome back to part 4 of Muscovy into Russia, or World Conquest, and... You can see in the spreadsheet... The maximum governing capacity. We will try to get as much governing capacity and make the cost of governing provinces the lowest possible. Of course, you can see here the idea group we are going for. We already have religious. I should make it maybe green. But uh, I, I need to update the spreadsheet and I don't want to. I'm lazy. I will do it at some point, of course. And here you can see what the goal is. And uh, of course we can still adjust it if you have good uh, tips and tricks. Put it in the reaction step. Let's go back to the game scene and continue play. Last episode we took the land from Kazan here and gave it to Perm. His score and two extra, including the gold mine. And now we are preparing for the war against Novgorod. The truce will be over in 1464. And we are of course going to kill them. Well, not completely, because they are too much war score. But we need to get at least 80 or 90%, so we can kill it in the next war. Um, what did I want to do? Yeah, we are still developing Moscow for the Renaissance. We are getting close. Uh, still want to put some more military points in it. Still have all the bonuses. Let's go to speed 5, uh, 4. Oh, I'm, I was at 4 already. Okay. Keep playing at speed uh, speed 4 right, right now. Um, I will not pick the first uh, religious one. I want to get admin tech 6, so we are far ahead of time. Then dump all the points into the religious idea group. And that also... Yeah. When we are done developing, we will seize land and we will get the plus 1 admin points. Admin power. United in prayer. Uh, Diplo power, please. I think we need to click five more times. Yeah, I think we need to kick, we need to put five more military points in. It's important because the Kremlin and all the bonuses give us a lot of manpower in Moscow. We can also, when we are done, get the manpower edict. But I'm not sure if I want that. At least we have our first uh, thing of the age bonuses. Large city, 30 development. We still want the transfer subject so we can get Norway from Denmark in one war. Sweden broke free, Lithuania is still in the Union. Oh yeah, the Streltsies. Um Let's give you two. Give you two. And I guess I'm just gonna make these stacks a bit bigger. Oh, are we in the rankings? We are fifths. Okay. Let's increase the maintenance. And in four bonds, we will go to war. Maybe my vessels will do everything. Just gonna sit on the fence, see what's gonna happen. Yeah, we need a lot of military points. Um, seed, we lose zero, no. Uh, we can lose the claim, that's completely fine. Yeah, capital state doesn't cost any governing costs. It's eight, there's no discount. We will build courthouses everywhere. Everywhere. Town halls as well. And... Oh no! Can we complete it? I think I have to complete it. I... Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do it. We will only have 8 military points, but that's fine. We click you, and then you, and then it's present, and then we can embrace it. And now we can do this thing. Now we need to wait until it's above 50, and then I can click seize land. You can have no edicts.
And it is May, so I think we can go to war. We will go for the, the conquest of well, Novgorod, I guess. We will take Novgorod this war. Go. Let's see what my vessels are going to do. How many troops do you have, Mr. Novgorod? 9,000. Um, I mean, we do have a lot of manpower. I'm going to do this and this. For now. And I guess I will do this. So we have a bit more sight. I forgot to ask for the maps. Yeah, we are not allied with them anymore. Uh oh. No, we're not gonna get maps. Uh, perm. Subject nation is not possible. Uh, you don't like me. I don't think we're gonna get any maps. <laughs> That's a pity. So yeah, we are still uh, improving relations with these two, because they will be integrated after the war, I think. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna let them run in my, in my country. Not gonna fight them. We don't have to fight them for our our war score. So we will do just do this. We will kill their reinforcements. Oh, stay there. We can stay Tombov. Yeah, we are gonna stay everything. So we will. Uh, we will core you. Now, can I convert you? And how hard is it? We have 2. 2.5. We have 3.2. And we need... A lot. Colonial core. Now, that needs to go away. That's not correct. There we go. It is minus 4.8. Um, I maybe can get a religious conversion guy. Or we wait for this one. And the edict gives plus 1%. It's not going to be enough right now. But we still have to wait. I mean, I can. I mean, this guy is so cheap for two points, and it's a good one. Minus two unrest is very nice to have. I'm gonna wait. I'm just wait for my religious idea to catch up. We don't have to hurry it. We have other things that we can do. All right, we got everything siege except for uh, these things over here. I guess we will go there then. Land acquisition. Gain one something in Starodoop. Yeah, let's take it. Does that make you a good province? Yeah. It's fine to build a church here. I, I, I misclicked, but it's okay. 0.16 is... It's just at the, the limit, in my opinion. If you should build it or not. I mean, you can do the calculation. I think it's 30 years, so... But you also want to keep points for better stuff. Uh, money. I call this points now. <laughs> Money is no points, guys. Yep. It happened. Or Novgorod. Completely getting destroyed. How much? 12 development. 20. We have to start with Peskov. Also have prosperity in Moscow. I mean, it should get in other st other provinces as well soon. Uh, yeah. Did I seize land? No, I should have seized land first. Before I declared the war. 
And all these small things make it so hard to play close to perfect. It's impossible. It's completely impossible. There's so many things you need to think about. Just let it go. Let it go. Play. Conquer. I want Novgorod. It's a very good one. How much Bonarinos do you have? You have a lot of money again. I need to make sure to take how much percent. Seventy-two. Let's let's do eighty. But we are sure that we are on the right side. So we will pick all of these lands. Yeah, and we take your money. But he doesn't want to peace out yet. Because he thinks is he is a cool guy. Well, maybe he is, but he lost this time. We should really be able to get him to lower enthusiasm when we siege the province, right? Yes, of course we do. Oh, and suddenly we cannot take that much anymore, so we will do this. Boom. We are over our governing capacity, guys. First, we're going to seize the land. And I think it's time for the Cossacks to give, the, give us their governing capacity. Thank you very much. Very expensive. And I think I'm still going. To get the technology first. Yeah, we will be at um, our limit for a while. Uh, overextended for a while, I should say. I think I really want this thing first because we also get innovativeness. It's also very nice to have. Are you both ready to get integrated? Yes, but you're... Well, I should actually start it now, right? Do we need to use the Diplo points for other things? No. Let's start it. Why does it take so long? Do we still have the modifier? I'm going to wait until that one is gone. Gonna wait two more years for the integration. Which means we should maybe go to War of Sweden first. You are having a lot of aggressive expansion. That's not gonna be a problem. No, not at all. I think we are completely fine. Um, yeah, I think we will go to War of Sweden. Just to release Finland. It's gonna be an, a very quick and small war. And I'm going to wait two more years for the integration. I think we will have enough with these two armies. So I'm going to put them here. We lost our general again. <sighs> I'm going to click the button again. We are still young. You know what? Let's YOLO. Knias Ivan Veliki Rurikovic, you are the child slayer. Do I still have the, the marriages? No, I have to get all the marriages again. That's not true. It is true, it's just not updated. Okay, we need to wait. No, I am. Oh, we have the ma yeah. Tver is no marriage. We have four marriages. What is the chance to get an heir? Fifteen percent more chance. And Bohemia, do you like me? Yes. Should I get the alliance right now? I think I will. Yeah. Let's get the marriage as well. You have to raise your slots, right? Yeah. Yeah. Denmark, yeah, you're my rival too now. Wait, no, you're not my rival, and now you want to ally me. Oh my god. I want an alliance with Austria or the Ottomans. Not gonna happen. Need to need to grow first for it. 
Let's marry you. We have 20% more chance of an heir. That should be enough. Hopefully we get a decent heir this time. Did I want to put... Oh yeah, we want to get the technology first. Yes, yes, yes. That's going to be in January. Denmark declared war on Sweden of the restoration of union. Now this is interesting. Do we let Denmark get Sweden? So I can declare war on Denmark by having a claim on Sweden and take Sweden from Denmark again. And if that is if 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 it's possible, I also don't know. Maybe I should just release Finland so that Sweden is smaller and that we have an easier time taking Sweden and Norway with the uh, age bonus. <coughs> I'm still going for the I'm still going to do this. I don't like that we are going to war with the Teutonic Order. It doesn't it doesn't matter but that no, doesn't matter. Yeah. Doesn't matter. We're gonna just do it. We're gonna go to war here. Take the fort. And I will make a general. Feofilak Bibikov. What a nice name. And you are a really good one. Thank you very much, game. We are going to tech up. We are getting tech 6 with innovativeness. We can now build a workshop and look where the best workshop is in Moscow. We cannot build barracks yet. We can, do, we can click the Oprichnina. Rebel factions go down with 30%. We will click the button when we are having multiple re uh, rebel rebellious factions. And then after this war we will annex Peskov and Belusero. So let's keep improving with those. Now we're going to put all our admin points into coring. He must be way too busy. With Denmark. Yeah, I think this is good. It, they, he will become a vessel of Denmark again, but I will peace out first and... Well, that's also not good, because then I release Finland and I can't feed Finland, because I'm going to take Sweden. What a weird situation. Yeah. Very weird. The, oh, the Iberian wedding, what happened? Yeah, it happened. Okay, we are going to get a normal game, I think. A big Austria, a big Spain. Well, normal game. What is happening over in France? Burgundy is winning. Maybe not so normal. My vessels will uh, siege down the rest. If I just take one province, then maybe Sweden is going to win. It doesn't really matter what happens, in my, in my opinion, with Sweden. No, it doesn't really matter. What I can do is tell the world and my vassals, I want this, you can claim it for me. Because it will be my land, it will be my land anyway at some point. Now when we have all of this consolidated, we are becoming... Oh no. I did not lose any progress, hopefully. Uh, what is this? Uh, 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 okay. Mercantilism is okay for Russia. You are below 100, right? Yep. We can annex you next war. The workshop in Moscow has been built. We have maximum relations. Okay, do we have favors with you? Why?
that var. Oh, and you cannot do it on subjects, I just saw, right? No. Okay. <laughs> we are improving with you, right? Let's improve with the other ones then. Death of a merchant. We can get a skill tree that I don't want, so we take the money. I just need this sword and I can peace out. Minor lords. Uh, let's get Streltsy progress. Yeah, what to do? What to do here? Sweden's gonna lose because he's fighting Norway as well. He will become a subject of Denmark again. So maybe... I should just pick a lot of land. And release Finland and integrate Finland. Maybe I should just go and eat the Year of Expansion. I don't know. I think I will. Depends what will the out. Yeah, when he is, when he is a vessel again, I don't. I don't know if I can vesselize Sweden with this age bonus. But I definitely can when I take Finland. Then he's small enough. Then I can take Norway and Sweden from Denmark. So I think I'm gonna do it. Going to take more la more provinces here. Let's have a look. Yeah, I don't like this. I'm going to stick with the plan and see how it plays out. I'm going to take one province and release Finland. Yeah. Oh, I didn't check that in time. You two, come here. I mean, Sweden got all of Denmark occupied, so maybe they are going to win. Which is also fine for me. Both scenarios are okay. Stay here. And yeah, we got the capital of Sweden. I don't want to kill Sweden, I think. I know, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to play out. I have no idea. In the meantime, we will improve. Okay, we have Viborg. Sweden. I want one, oh, one province. And can I pillage your capital? That's not really worth it, I think. Well... Let's get some more development. We have a lot of money. Yeah, we've got 35 development now. Um, okay. We do have a relation slot. I think we will you now and do this and I can, I think we're just gonna release Finland <sighs> I don't know what to do you're getting close of being a vessel too
Got military access? Sure. Destroy it. Well, oh, root out corruption, and we need to keep. Or that's the core Novgorod first. What is Tech Six doing? It's a very and very and very good technology. Are we gonna go and prepare for a war against Lithuania? The thing is, I want to release those vessels and, and, and give them all their land. Polotsk, Smolensk, and Chernigov. We will have three more vessels and we don't have room for that. Yeah, the overextension is... Let's integrate two vessels indeed right now when he's at around 40% I have to start this one too we can keep the Kazani separatist out with this button let's click it Yeah, this might be the moment. Kazan is actually getting... Uh... Oh, even our queen died. We have no one left. <laughs> Why can you not ask for maps from your, from your subject nation? That is stupid. I am your subject nation, and that means that I don't have to give my map information to you, my overlord. Get out of here! Of course you can. But in this game, no. We have a lot of discounts for our buildings. Let's get a couple more churches. And be ready to take the uh, manpower buildings. Gonna keep this problems how it is for a while. And see what happens with this war. A child in the reeds. No, I don't want a 111. <laughs> oh god. Are you crazy game? What is gonna happen? Are we going to get destroyed by the game by giving us another zero, zero, zero? <sighs> I think it will. Tyrannical nobles. We lose a base tax. Or not. We won't. Um, can I... Pick the admin? No, we don't have enough crown land, so we cannot pick the admin point. I still want the boyar point at some at some point, haha. <laughs> but how? Yeah, at some point the strong duchies need to go away. Maybe that flies are bonus. Because when we are rich we don't have to get these bonuses anymore. Uh, let's see, how quickly are we going now? September 71. Two more months. No, three. Four. Four more months. And they should get... Oh, nice. And, sh and they should get integrated at the same time. The war over? Denmark is going to lose. 
Yeah. So Sweden will stay independent and then I can release Finland. Yep. Now... One more month. Both in September? Yes. Are they getting cranky? No. They should actually get integrated at the same time. Perfect. Then I can release Finland and yeah. I don't think I have room for three more vessels in Lithuania. Because I will be at five out of seven. Then I will go to eight out of seven. Of course Perm will be integrated. The May yeah, we don't have claims yet. <sighs> we are a bit stuck with the things I want to do in the right order. Sweden is how long? It's too long. Novgorod is too long. I need to do more wars before that. Kazan. I forgot about Kazan. 74. It's five years. But I will not have the claims there. So maybe we should give this all to Perm then. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. And I think I have to rival Austria. Which will help with the Ottomans. Yeah, that's a good enough reason. If we can get the alliance of the Ottomans, we are golden. Vishni Volojok. Vishni. Uh, we are going to take you. We can get better. Cavalry. Gonna wait until we have a diplomat and then we have to choose what we are gonna do. You are court and you are a perfect province. I can upgrade you to level 2. Do it. I can upgrade Moscow to level 3, but how expensive is that? A thousand? Absolutely not. Completely unnecessary. Did he just die? I'm gonna burn the game. This is this is the point of uh, of completely frustrating with our heirs and he was not even 30 years old. And he was not a general and he died. It's gonna be the end of this episode and I will burn the game. And hopefully the game will not break when I do that. So we will see you in the next episode I guess. Bye bye.